What's going on everyone, it's Justin here and Black Friday just passed and I know a lot of you guys did a ton of shopping and I did a little bit as well which I'm going to talk about in this video. But today we've got part two of the unboxing haul for this month and we've got a ton of different things from our friends over at Qualcomm. Google sent over a couple things, Microsoft sent over a big box as well, some things from StockX. But these episodes, as fun as they are, are kind of a sneak preview of the content that is to come. And if you guys have any questions, just make sure you drop them down below. And if you guys didn't know already, I have my holiday giveaway that is still open for the iPhone XR. So check the link down below, but make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video, and also leave a comment down below. And be sure you're following me over on my Instagram and Twitter, as that's where I'm gonna be announcing the winner. The giveaway rules, as well as all the products you guys see right here will also be linked down below. So the first product that we have is something that I've actually been very excited about. We saw it at the Google event where they announced the Pixel 3 and 3XL and we finally have our hands on it. And that is the Google Pixel Slate. So here is the keyboard. There's also the, the pen right here, the stylus, the Pixelbook pen, whatever they want to call it. And here is the Pixel Slate itself. And um, the one that I have in terms of specs is the eighth generation i5 processor paired with eight gigs of RAM, 128 gigs solid state drive. But let's just go ahead and open this up. And I think Google already set it up for me. So we're gonna take a look at some of the accessories. And overall, the slate itself is actually pretty big. So here's the Pixel Slate. There's the two front facing speakers as well as the camera. So when it comes to design, the Pixel Book is actually very clean and simple characteristic to what Google's really been trying to do. And you have the Google logo right here and the camera. The back is just a single slate that is very thin overall and it just feels really nice to carry around. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to use this. And if you guys have any questions, make sure you drop them down below. But some of the other things that are included inside the box include the wall charger right here, which is USB type C, as well as headphone adapter because it uses USB type C. And lastly, you have the USB type C cable. As for the keyboard, it's kind of a folio case that goes along with the Pixel Slate and you kind of have a few different angles you can put it in when it comes to typing. And let's just go ahead and take a look at what the texture is like for this keyboard. So it kind of folds up in an origami style on the back here and you have your keys which are kind of rounded off and overall very nicely spaced, a nice size to it. And you also have the trackpad on the bottom which is also a good size. So the next box is probably the biggest ones to arrive in recent memory from our friends over at Microsoft Canada. And that is a Surface Studio 2 and that is something that I've wanted for quite a while now because it looks so nice. So the one that Microsoft sent over is the 7th gen Intel Core i7 with one terabyte of SSD, 32 gigs of RAM, and an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 with eight gigabytes of GPU. I think it's just like perfectly designed and looks so nice. So let's just go ahead and figure out how to open this without breaking anything. So we have the, wait, are we supposed to cut it? Mm -hmm. We're supposed to tip it over and open it the other way. Three hours later. So now that we've got that giant box out of the way, here is the Surface Studio itself. And just looking at it, it looks amazing. There's like that nice finish that is around the sides. It's just so uniform. And the entire computer is, I'm guessing, right here. Yeah, this thing looks insane. I'm gonna set it up over at my apartment and show you guys what that looks like. But some of the other things that are included are the keyboard as well as the pen, which is a very big part of this, and the mouse which all do match the color of the Surface Studio. So it just has like a very nice setup to it. There's the pen. We have a couple of those laying around around already actually. But just look at the keyboard and the number pad. It looks very nice to type on actually. So I can't wait to go ahead and set this up and start using it. If you guys wanna learn about any of the products in this video or ones from the videos of your other favorite tech YouTubers, a great place is Unbox.tv. There they kinda of curate all the products that are seen in the episodes as soon as a video goes live and gives you more information about the product as well as the best places to buy them from major retailers at the best prices. I personally love the visual experience of the site. I think it looks great. It's very clean and well organized. So if you guys wanna go ahead and check out my profile, I'm gonna leave a link to that down below and I would like to thank them for sponsoring this video. So this month we also have a package from StockX with just a couple things that I might wear for the winter. Um, one thing that I've been a really big fan of recently is Kith. I think they've done a really good job. Ronnie's been doing a great job with the collabs and the Tommy one's really nice. I also kind of like the Coca-Cola one. And I just feel like it's kind of a basic but still creative form of just sweatshirts, hoodies and stuff like that. So one thing that I had to pick up was the Kith Tommy and it does have the verified StockX Authentic, of course. Um, I will say if you are normally a size medium, you do want to size down. 
I made the mistake the first time of getting it in size medium, but I ended up having to go back to size small because it does fit a little bit oversized. But this one is in white and I believe it did come in a few different colors and it kind of looks a little bit like vintage Burberry or something. It has kind of the crest with kith on it and just some info there, there's kind of the Tommy tag and on the bottom you also have another tag that has um, the Tommy logo. The next pair of shoes is one that I kind of just want to wear outside as a comfort shoe on an everyday basis. I currently only have one pair of Ultra Boost and they are kind of beat up, the high sobieties. So this is an Ultra Boost 1.0 in the cream colorway. I picked it up in a size seven and a half. I had size eights before and I feel like there's a bit of a gap at the front. But yeah, the 1.0 Ultra Boost is probably my favorite Ultra Boost of all time by far. And here it is in just like a simple clean colorway that you can just wear on an everyday basis. So just take a look at this. There is of course the boost foam as well as the cream lacing. So I'm going to wear these probably right away. So our friends at Google weren't done with just the Pixel Slate. They sent another box this month with some cool stuff for the Cyber Monday deals. And of course there is always some deals around the holiday season, whether it's Boxing Day in Canada. So this box was one that they sent for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And I've already unboxed most of the things at some point um, on the channel. So I'm just going to show you guys kind of what's inside this box. But there's a... Uh, Opening up the box here, you have just some of the things right here, including the Pixel 3 case, um, the Google Pixel stand, which is actually my favorite wireless charger at the moment. I use it with my iPhone, I use it with my Pixels, I use it with pretty much every phone that has wireless charging. And there's also obviously the case itself to protect the device. They also sent over another Google Pixel 3 in the white color, which I'm actually really split on whether or not I like the white or the black more. And even between the Pixel 3 and 3 XL, I like both the sizes. I think the Pixel 3 XL is a very nice large phone to use, but the small one is just nice and compact and very small compared to most of the other phones that I've used recently. We've also got the Google Home Mini, which is a great stocking stuffer for the holiday season. And I do have a couple of these laying around, so they did send over two of them. So if you guys leave a comment down below with a hashtag made by Google or something, I'll give away one of the Home Minis to one of you guys in the comment section. So another box that arrived this month was from Qualcomm and it is probably the coolest invite for an event that I've ever seen. And I'm personally very excited about it, not only to go to Maui, but also film a travel vlog for you guys and kind of take you guys with us because you're obviously the biggest reason as to why we get to go on these trips. So let's just open these boxes and um, take a look at what's right here. And this is for the Snapdragon Summit next month. The waves were open and I personally don't really know how to surf. Uh, if you guys know how to surf, let me know some tips down in the comments section. I don't know if I'm gonna be surfing or not, but I'm definitely gonna take the drone, the camera, everything, eat a lot of food. Here it just says Snapdragon's Tech Summit. But I think what's really cool is that the invite was in VR. So Qualcomm actually preloaded the entire invite in a visual experience that is VR and completely interactive into an Oculus Go. So you actually put on the Oculus, start playing the video, and inside the box, let's just take a look at what's included in the Oculus Go, which is actually gonna be a very good Christmas gift, but I'm going to show you guys also what I saw from my eyes in a video. So we kind of just have some information here about how to set it up. There's also the Oculus itself right here, which is just gray and um, you just look through it. And you also have the remote control for kind of navigating the menus and starting the video. The last thing is just a kit with some of the replacement parts. So here's a quick clip of what we saw through the Oculus Go to invite us to Maui next month. Mai, which means welcome in Hawaiian. Qualcomm cordially invites you to the third annual Snapdragon Tech Summit, taking place December 4th through the 6th on the island of Maui in Hawaii. Take in the beauty and splendor of the island while learning more about the leading edge of Snapdragon technology. We have some things from our friends over at Casetify for the Apple Watch, and they also sent over the Apple Watch 42 millimeter here in I believe the Space Gray 44 millimeter model. So let's just go ahead and open this up and take a look as well. As you guys might remember, I did unbox the Apple Watch Series 4s and reviewed them a couple months ago. So if you guys wanna check out my review, um, I'm gonna leave that link down below. But here's the one in Space Gray. The one I had, I believe, was stainless black before. And apparently I was opening the box wrong last time and there's some artwork. So I'm gonna to try to open it properly. That looks pretty cool. So you have the strap itself as well as the Apple Watch here. And the artwork is like that, which has kind of the collection of different bands to show you. So this is just the Black Sport band and the Apple Watch is in here. You have the nice sleeve that is included to protect it. And there you have it. Here's a look at the back as well. And setting that aside, the other things that are included in the box are the charger 
and a 5 watt wall adapter. So along with the Apple Watch, Caseify also sent a bunch of different bands, including their new metal one, which sold out very quickly apparently, and also some printed ones. And their bands start at $40, and if you want 20% off, the code is justin20, and the link is down below. But beginning with this box right here, it is the one that is compatible with the Series 1 to 4, and uh, has nice box. I think Caseify does one of the best packaging for accessories. Um, but in here you do have the band, which is metal, the matte black, that goes very well with this actually. And I believe there is also a couple tools here and there for you to set it up. And I think this one looks really good if you want kind of the normal watch look that goes with your Apple Watch. And it looks just a bit more professional than the sport band. Take a look at the second box here and some of the bands that are included. Um, there's like a nice little ribbon. And I'm seeing this for the first time as well. So there's just some wrapper, this thank you from Caseify. And I'm not really sure how to get this off, so I'm just going to... Take a look at some of these. So these painted bands come in a whole different range of colors and are printed on Saffiano leather. And just take a look at one here that says JT. It has that black white look with my initials on it. And this one says Say. And I think they just do a great job in the customized stuff. You guys might've seen me promote their iPhone cases before, as well as now their Apple Watch bands. And I actually think these look really cool to give yourself a customized look that is unique. Next up we have the Blue Yeti Nano and this brings back so many memories because you might remember the Yeti from before was kind of an OG YouTuber mic that we used back in the day. I feel like everybody seemed to have one at some point and I remember making a review of that. I was really excited to get it and it was a mic that I used for a number of years. So this is the newest generation that has a bit of a redesign, a facelift. It's also plug and play, great for streaming, recording voiceovers. And just kind of take a look at the box here and opening it up, it is in the shadow black color. So it just says um, premium USB microphone. There's just also some information about the... And the next thing that we have is the mic itself. And it actually looks a lot more compact than the previous generation, which is nice to see. And there you have it. It's actually much smaller than I expected. It's my first time seeing it in person as well. And you also have just the USB cable and the thread if you want to mount it on something else. Blue's always been very good about making things that are nice and stylish, and this is definitely no exception. It looks great in this color. You also have a cable channel on the bottom, which is a nice touch because cables are ugly. So if you're doing a podcast or something or doing gaming, live streaming and stuff like that, then this is definitely something that I could recommend because it doesn't come in at a price point that is too high at all. So of course with Black Friday a few days ago and the fact that I live in Canada, a lot of the Canadian retailers have started doing the Black Friday thing. It seems to be bigger than our own Boxing Day, which is kind of our sales day of the year that nobody knows about. But I picked up a couple things, some of which I needed more than others. Some of the things that were on sale in Black Friday for Canada were crucial two terabyte SSDs, which we needed a ton of because of these crazy file sizes. So I decided to pick up four of those drives and they were just under $300 Canadian for two terabyte drives, which I think is a great deal. Some of the other things that I picked up was an iPod Touch fifth generation, which brings back so many memories because I filmed my first YouTube videos on an iPod and that was $169 in Canada for the 32 gig model. Another thing was a brother printer that was on Amazon because my printer broke. And the last thing that I picked up is an Espresso Virtuo, and this thing is something that I've kind of wanted recently because my Keurig doesn't taste very good. I'm normally someone who goes to Starbucks quite often, and um, I don't really know much about coffee, but after trying Espresso a couple times, I'm kind of sold on it. So this thing right here was $100 off on Black Friday, and it looks pretty awesome. I picked the silver one, which has chrome. It's going to scratch and stuff, but a lot of things in my kitchen are chrome at the moment, so... I thought, why not match it? It kind of has that classic look to it. I think it comes with a pack of 12 capsules for you to just try which kind of coffee you like. But let's just cut open the tape here and give you guys a quick look. Flavors, which I'm going to quickly take a look at. Packaging is really nice. Here's all the different capsules. So I'm going to try them out, but let me know in the comment section below if you have an espresso and which one here you think is the best flavor. So this is what the Nespresso looks like. You've got the water chamber on each side, I believe. And you also have the little thing on the front, which looks very fancy and classic. I just think it looks really good. And that's probably half the reason why I bought it in the first place, aside from it being on sale. And there is also a metal drip tray right there. I can't wait to go ahead and try this out and start drinking some more coffee. So that pretty much wraps it up for this month's unboxing haul. Of course, we had a lot of things to go over as always. And if there's anything that you want to see a more in-depth look on, make sure you drop a comment down below and I'll see you all in the next one.